Hello everyone, welcome. Today I am just going to guide you through a simple stretch routine for your hip area. And what happens to most of us is that we have really, really tight hips because we're either sitting at a desk all day and we're not getting that full range of motion in our hips because we're not using it at all. And because of that, our back and our spine starts overcompensating for the tightness in our hips, which causes a lot of injuries. So if you're now starting to work out or you work at a desk all day or anything like that, you're more prone to injuries because you have tighter hips. So today we just want to try to create some space in our hip area, find a little range of motion that's going to help us prevent injury as well as just alleviate some of the tension and stress that's being put on our backs and spines now for this video if you have a block at home it will be really helpful and also a towel or a strap or a belt or something like that that you can just use to kind of straighten out so let's just start off now we're gonna start off in butterfly position so you're just gonna bring your soles of your feet together and also what you want to do is get your timer out and set your timer for 30 seconds to a minute so you want to pause in between each stretch and let the timer go for 30 seconds to a minute do it for that long and then start back the video afterwards so you're going to start off here in butterfly position, soles of your feet together and you're just going to spend 30 seconds to a minute here flapping your legs. Of course if you want to do it longer you can. So you're just going to start off by flapping and then you're going to inhale. So the first one is this and now the second one is you're going to lift your hands and you're going to bring them in between your legs here and fold forward bringing your forehead down just as close as you can towards the mat and here you just want to focus on your breath remember to inhale and exhale through your nose and when your time is done you can slowly make your way back up the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go into a yogic squat. So you're going to come up here onto the mat, kind of separate your feet from each other. Have your back as straight as you can, pressing your elbows into your inner knees and just bringing your hands together here. Gently closing your eyes and breathing making sure to inhale and exhale through your nose here and hold for your designated time that you chose for you and your body and when you're ready slowly bring your hands down to the mat and make your way out we're gonna come into a happy baby next so you're going to come lying down on your mat, you're going to lift your feet up in the air and you're going to bring your hands on the inside edge of your legs and grab onto your feet from the outside edge here and really pressing your knees towards your mat and here you can just kind of practice straightening out your legs, just kind of playing around with it, bringing one leg towards you and just holding here just bending your leg in different directions getting different ranges of motion here in your hip and just breathing here holding for your designated time and when you're ready just slowly coming out of it our next stretch that we're gonna do is frog pose so for this one you kind of want to face the long edge of your mat and we're going to bring our palms down to the mat separate our knees from each other here and bring our feet out to the side and just bring your elbows down to the mat here and here you just want to breathe now this one 
is kind of an intense hip opener so you just want to move slowly here maybe you stay still or maybe you move forward and move back a little bit and you just want to remember that you need to listen to your body so of course you want to push yourself but at the same time you don't want to do anything that can injure you or hurt you so if you need to come out of it do so and when your time is done just slowly lift up here bring your hands to the mat and move one knee at a time to come out of it our next hip opener that we're going to do is we're going to go into a figure four stretch so you're going to come lying down onto your mat bringing your soles of your feet down and you're going to lift your right leg first bring your right ankle across your left knee and you're just going to thread your right hand through your legs to meet your left hand either grabbing onto your thigh or your shin area whichever one feels more comfortable for you and making sure that this right foot is flexed there and you're just gently pressing this left shin towards your body just breathe in here breathe into your right glute area just creating some space and hold in for your designated time and when you're ready switching over to the other side so bringing your right foot back down on the mat lifting your left bringing your left ankle across your right knee making sure that your left this left ankle this left foot is flexed and either grabbing onto your right thigh or right shin and just breathe in here again making sure that whatever time you did on the first leg you're doing the exact same time on the second leg and just gently push in here and when you're ready slowly making your way out the next posture that we're going to do is reclined butterfly so you're just going to lie down here on your mat with your soles of your feet together and this one maybe you hold for a little more than a minute maybe you can hold it for two to three minutes it's very relaxing but it's also a very very intense hip opener so just see how it feels for you maybe the first time you do it for 30 seconds and the second time you come back to the video you can do it for a little longer each time Just breathe in here, making sure that your shoulders are pressed into the mat and just place in your hands here, maybe on your inner thighs, your hip area. And when you're ready, maybe lifting one leg at a time and the other and making your way back up. The next stretch that we're going to do is pigeon. So maybe you just start off here in tabletop position. You're gonna lift your right leg behind you and you're gonna bring your right foot at a 90 degree angle here, right below your hands. And first you're gonna start off here, just breathing into your right hip, making sure that your hips are squared and that your weight is evenly distributed amongst your hips and you're gonna fold forward here bringing your forehead to the mat and hold here for your designated amount of time and when you're ready slowly make your way back up tuck your back toes and you're gonna switch legs so inhale lift your left leg bring it in between your hands here right beneath your hands you're gonna spend a couple seconds up here just breathe in and just slowly making your way down 
hold on for 30 seconds to a minute. Again, making sure that your hips are square here and that all your weight isn't in one hip, but rather your weight is evenly distributed. And when you're ready, making your way back up. And the next pose that we're gonna do, we're gonna need the towel for. So you're gonna come to lie down on your back here. And you're just gonna grab your towel, your strap, your whatever, and you're just gonna lift one leg, interlock it here, and pull this leg towards your face. Again, just finding an opening here in this hip area, and just bending our legs in ways that our body's not really used to us moving. And just spending a good amount of time on this side, of course, if you have your 30 seconds a minute timer. When you're ready, slowly making your way back down and switching over to the other side. And breathe in here. I'm just going to give one more option for those of you who may have a block at home or you can use a pillow or you can use a box like literally a cardboard box anything that you have that's kind of like in a shape of a cuboid it'll be perfect and you're gonna come up here graze your fingers across your heels inhale lift into bridge and you're gonna place the block right here at your lower back under whatever level at whatever level you feel most comfortable and that's going to give you a nice release in your lower back here just releasing some tension letting your hips kind of fall and just breathing here seeing how this feels for you and whenever you're ready just gently removing the block and coming back down so that's the end for today i hope this was really helpful and that you enjoy this video thank you bye